So I'm gonna build a sail crutch much like that one on the forward sail that uh, gathers the sail when it comes down. This one's gonna go back here. And I moved the sail bundle off to the side because it's gonna go on this spot. So I need to make it where it just clears the solar panels. further toward the center than I really want it, but I do like how flat it lays. Yeah, we're gonna need that. From there? There. Okay. Back of your wall. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, hit something, but that's about where we want it to stop. We need to get it where it can go up above the two-inch cross pipe, and then a hook could go back down over the two-inch cross pipe. Yeah, that's cut your hole a little bit more. But or we I mean, could bend it more. Bend it, yeah. I mean, it goes up and down easy enough. They're smart like that. Please, please. <laughs> This is Joel Valentine joining us, and we're saying goodbye to Lee over there. He's headed out today. Much obliged to you. You're welcome. Can we do it again with 
Are you holding the sign? No. We already got the sign. <laughs> work. Is that it? That's it. Good. Sweet. Three to one is beautiful because I'm lifting up the whole sail, which is, oh, I think that 800 pounds is about what it is. Oh, it's way too high. Back out a little bit down. Yeah. You know, if we had it up as a sail, it would come down, that cloth would follow the yard. It's only because we have it bundled up like this that it did that. Yeah. Well, we got a day where we could take the mainsail all the way up, and that's what we did. Checked out the yard, and liked the way that worked out, and then dropped it back into its cradle from up above. And it really does uh, count on bringing it down fast. So on a windy day, we'd wait for the sail to be over the crutch, and then let it down fast. That's the answer. Perfect. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful.